Hi everyone, welcome to our overview of Flipgrid for Educators. If you are new to Flipgrid, you are going to go to flipgrid.com in a Chrome or Edge browser window. Here on the home page of Flipgrid, you are going to click Educator Sign Up. It's free and sign up for your free account with either Google or Microsoft. If you're an Edmonton Catholic Schools teacher, you use your ECSD email address and password and you can choose to sign up with either Google or Microsoft using that account. Once you have created your account, you're simply going to click on Educator Login and you should be prompted to log in with your account. So again, I select my ECSD account and I'm logged into Flipgrid inside the Educator Admin, inside the tab, My Grids. Here we will create our first grid by clicking Add New Grid. Remember that a grid is your hub. It is where you will add topics for students to respond to. Let's go ahead and name our grid. And down here at the very bottom, notice that I can create a custom flip code. Remember that the flip code is the code that students will use to access the grid. Remember to keep that code simple, especially for younger students. All right, now before we click next, let's go ahead and select our grid type. Remember that grid types determine how students will join your grid. If we're working with students who can sign in to accounts with their school email address and password, then we will select the school email grid type and click next. Here we will teach Flipgrid what school email address to accept by entering the domain or everything that comes after the at symbol in our school email addresses. In Edmonton Catholic, that is at school.ecsd.net. Notice that I've also left in there the domain for teacher email addresses so that teachers can sign in to the grid as students. And we can simply click Next. Congratulations, you've just set up your first grid. You can choose to share the grid or you can go directly to your grid in order to build topics. Remember, you can share your grid at any time. So I'm gonna go ahead and click go to your grid. Here inside my grid, I can see that Flipgrid has already added one topic for my students, a simple say hello on Flipgrid. To add a new topic, I simply click the add new topic button. Here I will start building my topic by adding in the topic essentials, including a title, the prompt, which can include questions, provocations, or a set of instructions for my students to follow in order to record a video response. As well, I will set the recording time. Notice that it can be as short as 15 seconds, or if I'm looking for more of a tutorial, maybe I wanna set it as long as 10 minutes. If I scroll down, here I can see that I can add focus media materials in order to engage my students with the topic. For instance, I can add an emoji or an animated GIF from Giphy. I can upload an image or maybe add a YouTube or Vimeo video as part of the prompt. If I've been using Screencastify and I have a video tutorial, I can upload that video here as part of the prompt or I can click record a video. In order to use the Flipgrid recorder, in order to record a message for my students. This is especially helpful for our younger students or pre-readers or even ELL students as I can record myself giving the instructions or asking the question that they'll have to answer in their video response. Now, before I go ahead and click create topic, I'm actually gonna click on more options for the topic settings. Here I can give a topic tip. I can attach up to nine external links. So if I want students to work on a Google Doc or a shared Google Slides presentation or view a YouTube video before they respond to the video, I can attach all those links here. Underneath is topic status. Here I can turn on video moderation. 
If I am just getting started with Flipgrid, I'm going to consider turning on video moderation. This means that when students record their video responses, those video responses will remain hidden until I, the teacher, activates them or makes them go live on the topic. Notice that I can also turn on or off student to student replies. As I scroll down, I can see additional settings under video features. And at the very bottom, I have the ability to build in feedback for my students for their video responses. Once I've adjusted all my settings, I'll go ahead and click create topic to add that topic to my grid. And I'll click all set and notice that I'm inside the topic. I'm going to go back to my grid where I can see all of my topics and I can simply click this blue share button in order to share my grid with my students. Notice that I can share the link to the grid directly to my Google Classroom or if I'm using Microsoft Teams, I can share it directly to Teams. I can also copy that link to share in an email or I can always just give students the flip code, in this case, MC Remote, which they can use when they go to flipgrid.com on a Chromebook or if they're using an iPad or a mobile device, they can simply download the free app, enter that flip code and get started with Flipgrid.